All right, guys, COVID-19, day 15 for us now. We're gonna have a little switch, a little shift towards our more regular style CrossFit programming. We're adding in a strength piece, which has got a nice big gymnastics focus. Uh, we're gonna be working on our handstand push-ups. Luckily enough, we've got a couple of videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, one is the shoulder warm-up video. Check that out and follow that along for your warm-up for the shoulders. And then there's the handstand push-up video. Kyra getting a lot of work in there for that one. So follow along with that to get yourself on track and to figure out what scale you want to use for this piece. Once you've completed that, the, the warm-ups, then we can move into three to five handstand push-ups for five sets. Or five sets of three to five reps of whatever scale option you're on, that's fine. If your feet are up on your couch and you're doing them off the edge of the couch, that's fine. If you've got a good spot to do handstand push-ups and you've got handstand push-ups, then again, three to five reps for five sets, about 90 seconds rest between. Now, if you're a bit past that, you want to start pushing the volume a little bit more. For intermediates, we're looking at uh, 30 to 40 reps for time. As fast as you can, knock out 30 to 40 reps. If you're an advanced uh, crossfitter, if you're doing handstand push-ups for a long time, you're very good at them, then you can look towards more 50 to 60 reps as fast as possible. And again, I'd like these to be strict. After that, conditioning. This is a uh, good dress by Kyra here. It's called Push It Real Good. 30, 20, 10 of each of these movements. So 30 reps through all of the movements, then 20 reps on all of the movements, then 10 reps on all of the movements. The first one is the strict press. Any objects, or even weighted objects you've got around the house, feet under your hips, squeeze your butt, ribs down tight, and press. So we go 30 of those. Then we're into the sit-up. If you're lucky enough to have an ad mat at home, that's great. Otherwise, you can rock a cushion on the floor or we can go to a more conventional style sit-up. Touch the ground, up, touch the toes. Or a more conventional sit-up, you can bring the knees up and touch your heels or knees. From there, we've got the push-up. So we can spin around. We've done a stack of push-ups, so hopefully you're pretty, feeling pretty confident with these now. Chest to ground, push to a lockout. Then we've got the kick set. Slightly more challenging movement now. So you're going to get into that uh, bicep position. And then from here, you're going to be switching over. Kick that leg out. You can lightly touch your butt to the floor and bring it back through. There's an advanced option where you don't take your hands off. It does put a lot of twisting through the shoulders. So a lot of fun though. And after that we're back to dips. I know more dips. It doesn't hurt to do more dips. Down and up. Before you get into this stuff, I do recommend a lot of the shoulder mobility videos we've been putting out as well to prep, you, prep yourself beforehand. Um, we stuck doing a lot of push movements because we're at home, so you're going to see a lot of push-ups, dips, burpees which tends to bind up the shoulders, so make sure you get after that mobility as well. Once you've completed all of this, we've got two, I've got two to three minutes accumulating time in a prone hold. So accumulate two to three minutes in the prone hold. Nice and tight, no saggy midlines. Keep your ribs in. A little bit of extra core work. Cool team, get after that.